experts claim that nearly a third of the electricity produced in Europe doesn't even get to consumers because of problems and malfunctions in the distribution grid. Researchers have been working for years to stop this power hemorrhage and design a so-called smart grid. This is a grid that can predict and respond to the behaviors of consumers and suppliers. One of the objectives is to integrate renewable energy such as solar and wind power into distribution. However, both types of energy are intermittent, so the available output must be taken whenever it can. Here in this lab in Trieste in northern Italy, scientists from Italy's National Council of Researchers, the CNR, are studying the future of rational grids. Behind me, the CNR researchers are working to bring new technologies to smart grids and trying to improve their efficiency. In particular, researchers are working with solar panels, a very irregular source of energy. They're looking at how to adapt the energy produced to the real-time consumption of a certain area, possibly redirecting the surplus energy in moments of peak production or bringing in traditional sources when solar energy dims. The data concerning the quantity of energy necessary for the needs of a specific area are stored on this memory card, which is the same as is commonly used in video cameras. The memory card is then inserted in a USB stick. The memory stick, equipped with Wi-Fi technology, is inserted into the support of the photovoltaic panel and interacts with the energy produced by the panel. Using a Wi-Fi network, the energy is redistributed in the territory in direct proportion to the needs of that area. In the future, scientists hope to create numerous Wi-Fi networks in which the different USB keys communicate between themselves. Electricity is distributed where it's needed, when it's needed.